Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse. And then in today's tutorial, we'll be learning about how to classify passwords with machine learning, how to know the strength of a password. So this is a sample website which we'll be using. So let me try and see with a normal password like let's say pass, right? It's telling me that the password is too short, and then it's telling me that within one second it can be boot, it can be brute forced. So this website has the ability to classify passwords and then read it with the strength of the password so there's another website and this password strength password meter right so let me add use the same password p-e-s-s p-e-s-s -S, right so that is telling me that it's very weak so it is based on the number of characters that is for upper upper uppercase lower case. so these are all the features that we need to measure the strength of the password so let's try and see how we can use machine learning to be able to do this classification of password strength okay so First of all, we have, first of all, we'll be using NumPy, right? This is for Python. We'll be doing Julia later. So for so these are the packages we need. The EDA package that is pandas, import pandas, import NumPy, and then import random for shuffling. And then for machine learning packages, that is from scikit-learn, feature extraction. Then we'll be using count vectorizer or a TFID that is 10 frequency and then invest division frequency factorizer so we'll be using all these packages right so all these models okay so this is our data that we'll be using our, our data is collated by a uh, Faizan he has done a good work on this data and it's very nice so if you're in case you're using this original data you have to use this error bad lines because there are some of the lines are five others are three or two but I've actually cleaned my own password with some I created a function to be able to clean the password to make it simple so you can use my data also which is quite small so we are going to be storing it inside this variable PSWD that is password data and then when you check for the head of it it's going to tell me it's having two columns we having this one the name because of my cleaning that's why it's having this and a password and then a strength so from the scale of 0 to 3 or 0 to 2 so 0 means it's very very weak 1 means it's weak 2 means it's strong and then 3 means it's very very strong okay so let's move on so I'll store it and then form an array from it using NumPy array storing them inside PSWD that is password and I'm going to shuffle the data to make it easier to boost it up right to make it more robust with random or shuffle then i'll move on to i'm going to group my data into features and then labels so our y labels is going to be s creating a comprehension or less comprehension looping throughout all the password and then bringing out the second column the second column is it is zero one two so the second column is going to be our labels of our labels and then the first column this one is going to be our Patrice, so it's S1, right? So I'm building a list from that. So when you check it, the length of our labels is 6,669,000, so which is quite plain. It is more than that, but because I I edited it, that's why it has reduced. So the length of also the password is also the same thing. That means that our data is corresponding. Now let's try and use Vectorizer to create a token and then use it because this is passwords. So I created a function make tokens.f. So I'll be looping through f, right? What I'm going to be supplying our uh, array as our uh, argument for f, and I'm going to be looping through and then appending it to be able to separate and create tokens. Okay, so we'll be using our default. There are two options either you can use your default tokenizer or use a custom tokenizer. So our tokenizer is what we made make tokens, so we'll be passing it inside this token tokenizer is called to make tokens and then we move on so we're going to store our vectors into s variables for all the password and going to fit them together to be able to build a model so you, you are we are applying our vectorizer function on our passwords so now let's try and split our data into test and then training data using this format train test split for the circuit layer the s for our vectorizer which is here and then the while loop for our features be splitting it on 80 20 or 20 80 then the random of 42 okay so 
it has finished working well so let's move on again now let's build our model in building our model we're using logistic regression you can use any module once but logistic regression is is good because of how our data is so a panel of 12 and the multi-class need to be over that is to be able to help it to push it to make it a faster algorithm so we fit in our training data and then for our features and then for our labels together okay so after that let's move on to create to check the accuracy of our model so on predicting the accuracy of our model we are going to get 81 percent which is a very good 81 percent is good because of how our data it is okay it's not bad so now let's try and apply our model on on a set of arrays on the suspected number so this is our passwords we have password python phison that is the guy a phison password and then all these sample passwords so we'll be transforming it and applying our model with the predict function so let's see what it's going to give to us okay wow so it gave us 0 2 0 2 so 0 means it's very weak the password is very weak just like this website said that it's very weak okay so we have 2 which is okay because of the capital upcasing then we have 0 which is so bad <laughs> this is very very weak two okay not bad so this is our password right so it depends it depends on how it is it depends on our model it depends on how we the amount of data we had for preparing our model so let's try another one so we'll be trying something different and then this is our new predict so it looks very difficult this one looks very difficult right so we we'll check how it is so upon predicting see that that one this one is not that it's not very weak it's strong a little strong a little it's very strong because this is two that is two and then same to all of them so that is the concept about trying to use machine learning to predict the password strength of a password strength so let's try and check again with our default tokenizer so following the same step just move on with the same step that said that you are going to use an empty tokenizer the default tokenizer then when you check our data you're going to see that this the accuracy of our model is going to be dropped very well 77 so our custom tokenizer was very good so this same thing can be used to apply on our prediction the same values that we had for our s predict be applying this new model which i've created without the with the default tokenizer then i'm going to see how it's going to be 111 which is quite different from the first one that we had sorry and the same thing for this one so thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution you can just put it inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit then more kudos to phasing and please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed